Alright, so we just got done with the 300k Glue Eater team. Now it's time for the 300k CC Assault Meliodas team. Now, I'm fairly certain if you're using like Melascula or Glocks, it's going to be a bit harder to reach 300k. Uh, I think you might need to have like a very powerful gear set with, um, you know, all of their cosmetics max to reach 300k. But I don't have that for Melascula because I just don't really use them much. So this is what we've got to work with. Um, I really like Green Droll. I uh, don't really want to use the blue one because otherwise that's too much blue. Uh, we'd get cucked by Lolly Merlin. So we'll try this out and see how it goes. Drop a like on the video. Uh, it should be pretty good. Subscribe if you are new and let's begin. Alright, first game we are up against the oh, Mark II Valenti. Is this a real opponent? Uh, oh wow, it is. That's interesting. Hmm, pretty interesting. It's a real opponent. Uh, we'll taunt turn one and obviously bait the dodge food. Now we can. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. All right. He applies the debuff, gives us a stack, ranks up his Valenti. All right. We are going to seal his uh, buff and debuffs, so he's not going to be able to uh, use the taunt for next turn. He attacked us once, so only two more attacks until he uh, triggers um, Derriere's passive. And look at that, we have a complete and total lockdown. And oh, all right, that's just uh, pretty feels bad for the opponent. We just got like insane RNG, uh, which we just draw into Assault Meliodas Ultiman, even more taunts. This is this is the kind of RNG you need when you have like a single um, taunt unit, because this is just crazy, man. What the hell? Oh, yeah, wait, it doesn't even matter. We have draw. Oh, that is so bad, man. <laughs> that is so feels bad. All right, well, GG's. GG's, I guess. Uh, yeah, that'll be the end of the game. Don't really see what more could go wrong from this point. Maybe he full sends to try and, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, just try and maybe win or kill us. I, I, I don't know. I mean, the game is done, right? It's just whatever. He can do whatever he wishes at this point. It's fine. We kill him next turn. He is mono green though, and we only have uh, we have zero stacks on assault melee. Yeah, I mean he's gonna give us a stack because he's about to attack right here. He is level three. Is that a Mark II Valenti on the um, crit resist juice? I think it is. I think he is on the crit resist juice. I'm gonna see his debuffs. Why not? Why not? I'm, I'm not in a rush. At this point, my assault melee is almost unkillable. So, no, oh, maybe it is <laughs> it's fine anyway. Well, that will be it. I was really surprised. I thought it was a bot, but no. Real player. Wow, patience. <laughs> patience, my girl. Okay. He had Liz sub. Mm. Oh, at least we drew the uh, buff removal. We can strip her annoying little buff. Go on, bro. He might just kill my uh, Derriere. All right, never mind. She is not six six. Um, and he'll just uh, scoop. Fair enough. All right, good first game. Uh, who we got incredibly lucky. So you know, feels bad for the opponent, but is what is. Let's move on. Alright, next game. If we get RNG similar to last game, I think we should be good to go. <laughs> um, please. Oh, my opponent does get... Oh, never mind. Um... Well, I guess this is all we can do right now. Uh, can we draw Assault Mini? No, we draw draw. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Um. Hmm. I don't think I have the the, uh, the luxury to wait one more turn. 
No, never mind. We just got attacked. Oh, okay. Three stacks. Three stacks is definitely uh, doable. Alright, we're going to attack Liz. Apply the, uh, you know, attack Liz. She'll get the stack. Use the AoE. And then we can hit Eskino with this from Droll. Should hit really nice. Very good, very good. Take off revive, question mark. Ooh, that's actually pretty clutch. And we get a nice crit from Droll there. Very good. Decrease Eskino's HP a little bit. Um, We should be okay. Alright. Ah, uh, maybe I, I'm so stupid. I should have used this. Alright, crits my dairy. Derry dies, we go plus two. Please give me an AoE. Please give AoE. Oh, okay. That is actually really rough. Oh man, that is really, really rough. Please assault melee. Oh, you can't be serious, dude. No, man. I mean, Assault Melee is almost unkillable here. And he gets stunned. Well, that's tragic, isn't it? <laughs> that is really tragic indeed. Uh, we'll hit this with Zeldris for extra damage and then we will seal all buff and debuffs. Not that it matters though. Zeldris does some decent damage, but you know, nothing uh, nothing crazy. Kill Liz, but now we are staring at an Eskinor ultimate. My, my assault melee did lose some stacks. Ah, uh, maybe it's GG's. Also, his units were much tankier than normal because he did have red Zeldris sub, so we were basically buffing him for free. Like, he was basically getting a free 12% basic stat buff. Please don't target my assault melee, please. Oh, he, oh, oh. Please assault melee. Oh, by the tip. By the absolute tip, we win. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was, uh... That was quite a wild one, but GG's, wow. That was uh, much tougher than it had to be, but nonetheless, fair play, we still get the win. Let's move on. Next game, we have our uh, Lolly Merlin. 284, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Mm. Gonna start working on draws. Or, you know, kind of bait him into using a gauge removal so we can get a free stack. Okay, we can seal his debuffs. That's good. Hopefully he doesn't... Oh. Alright, he gets go for ultimate off the rip. Oh, wow. Level 3. Fair play. <laughs> Fair play, dude. Alright, that makes life uh, really difficult for us. Let's uh, seal his buff and debuffs and we'll attack uh, Gotha. I don't want to use the melee AoE just yet. I feel like we can get a bit more value out of it once he attacks us. I mean, surely he has to attack us, right? He has no one that's invulnerable, so, you know, his units are going to be affected by uh, draw passive. Gets Liz ultimate 2. Um, I'm actually scared of attacking Liz with this, man. We might kill her. Let's, let's do this. Let's triple attack into uh, Gotho. Should be able to take off Revive. Okay, alright. Very good, very good. Now, um, the RNG has not been favorable for us in this fight because 
No derriere taunts since uh, turn one, since the one we drew. So, you know, just a little bit unfavorable, I would say. He's got a stun. Uh, he's going to level three stun. He's going to put it on my assault melee. Um, okay. Wait. Oh, she's on two stacks for God's sake. All right, I think we can we, we can kill his Liz. I'm very certain Liz is dead here. Yeah, no no way she survives this. No way. Okay, very good, very good. Now we can seal the uh, rank up, gauge removals, and AOEs from Lolly Merlin. Very nice. Okay. Even though Assault Melee is stunned, we are in a half decent position. Finally, we get the other taunt. Finally. And uh, they all lost gauge, so they will be affected by a draw. Alright, we're going to win this, I think. Oh my god. No, he. Oh, he full sends and gets the kill. Man. Loki, we might have to rush Derriere Ultimate here. Wait, is there any other way I could do this? No, there isn't. There is not, no. I have to I have to get Derriere Ultimate so we can one-shot his Eskinor. His Goth is really close to death, so we can deal with him next turn. I just need Derriere to survive this turn. If she can survive this turn, then we win. But considering uh, we're facing Lolly Murden, oh my god, that's a level 3. Please be the AoE. There's no chance in hell that's the single target, right? There is just no way. Alright, it's the AoE. Barely does damage. Again, okay, alright. We, we, I think, I think we are Gucci. Um, that should kill Eskinor. This should kill Gotha, but I'm not too convinced. Like, she has two stacks. That uh, Eskinor's dead here, right? Surely. Yeah, 320k. All right, very good. Draw, please. Yes. Yes. Can we draw gauge removal of Zoljus? We cannot. That doesn't kill me. I had the extra res resistance, it killed me. <laughs> Gauge removal, man. Oh my goodness. My games have been so close, but this has been a good one. This has been a good game. Alright, we do the first bit. She doesn't merge, thankfully. We get more gauge removals. Derry survives. Derry survives. Oh, he's got the live steal gear, man. Oh, that makes things a million times worse. He's got the live steal gear. I think we lose. I think after all of that, we lose because Lolly Merlin is just very, very, very strong. Oh. Yeah, no, we lose. She's 3-6. Yeah, we lose. Unfortunate, man. This game took so long, we did so well, and we are still gonna lose. Could I have played better at any point? I don't think I I don't think there's much I could have done. That level 3 stun he put on my assault melee probably saved his life. Yeah. Yeah, I think that level uh, that level 3 stun definitely won him the game. Well, fair play is we played it to the end, almost won, but I'm just going to be I'm just going to get outgrinded by Lolly Merlin. Unfortunate.
is what it is. Uh, if you go to a 1v1 with Lolly Melon, just forget it, you're going to lose. Uh, but GG's, let's go to the next one. Final game. It's an assault melee. Is this a mirror match? No. It's even worse. It's. Oh boy, we are so dead. He's got green derriere. We are so dead. Ah, uh, mamma mia. Alright, let's uh, seal Droll's taunt. Yeah, there's. Wow, he had dodge food as well. I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's going to be really tough, this one. Like, he's got Derriere, but I've got Green Droll. But I feel like Derriere is more of a pain to deal with. Because my debuff for Ult Lock is only two turns. Do you know what I mean? It's only two turns. Hopefully I don't regret merging this. Alright, we're on our way to Blue Derriere's ultimate, which ain't too bad. But he can literally reduce gauge with his Derriere, so, you know, does it really matter? Probably not. Come on, give me some more stacks. Uh, that's... It's not sufficient. Yeah, we lose. We lose. Man, this team ain't great, is it? This team really isn't too good. <laughs> the games that we won, we had very good RNG in them, and the rest have just been... Close, but we inevitably, like, you know, we basically end up losing. So it's a bit of a um, mixed bag, I would say. Um, hit this. Hit this, and then remove the buffs. That's probably the best I can do. It's probably the best I can do, I think. Ay ay ay. Now he only has one passive buff instead of three. Well, we have four debuffs on us, which is, um, yeah, not great. I think it's over. Yeah, this team kind of stinks. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's not, the, it's not the greatest. I feel like these days, it's almost uh, mandatory to have a Melascula in your team. If you do not have a Melascula in your team, probably gonna struggle very very hard ah never mind he his draw has low alt levels and there's so many other surprisingly he doesn't do much um This, I mean, uh, I've, I've given up on, on this uh, uh, particular game, but I mean, whoever gets the win, I suppose. Nice, so close, man! So close, man! So, so close. We have Assault Melee Ultimate, but he has Gauge Removal. One, two, three. He has four stacks. I'm dead. Yep. Kick okay, wait. GG's. Yeah, nah, 300k CC doesn't change the fact that this team kind of sucks. <laughs> Alright guys, well, unfortunate. If I had Melascula or Red Glocks built, maybe we could have got 300k um, with a different version of this team. But for what I have, this is uh, the best that I was able to do. Unfortunate, it really didn't work out. Maybe it would have been better if we had Blue Droll, but I doubt it. Green Droll kind of saved us uh, in a few, you know, a few times in these games. But here's what is this fine. We took uh, quite a few losses today, but that's just how PvP goes. Uh, if you enjoyed the video of us uh, clapping and being clapped, do drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you later on. Tell me why are we so blind to 
seen